film industry is a throbbing machine of interrelated parts that knit the hum in perfect harmony to create that coveted visual masterpiece. They all gravitate around two crucial personnel elements in the whole movie making process, the director and the director of photography. Oh. So I want them to be magnificent. And if they're not, then I have officially reached the ceiling of my talent. The director is a leader, an interpreter, an artist. He looks at the whole vision, yet must see every detail. Directors need to be ambitious, visionaries, communicators. Although not necessarily adept at any one particular filmmaking technicality, a director must be versed in all of them. Some directors will fashion a movie exactly as a script commands, whereas others will concentrate on actor performances, while still others will want a movie to have a visual impact. Whatever his preference, he is the artist. His canvas is the screen. You could say the director is like a craftsman who uses all the tools at his disposal to produce that craft. He will work with the producer uh, to look at the script, the vision of the film, the budgeting, the cast, location, the equipment, work with the digital photographer to set out the, the visual parameters of the movie, he'll rehearse with the actors, perfect that performance, the effects people and the editing people. He will be there at pre-production, throughout the production and the post-production till the very end. You could say the director is like the captain of a ship whose crew members look to him for direction, for guidance, advice and leadership. Technical proficiency is of course Highly enough, a director needs to have certain character traits that will adhere him to his team. He must be able to delegate, to have powerful people skills. He must be a problem solver, and although he will mostly have final say on all aspects of the filming process, he will also be willing to listen to both suggestions as well as criticism. True, that fear is the strongest of drivers. I mean, I guess it makes sense if you're being chased by a bear, you know. Time and stress are concepts that a director must be willing to be in constant battle with and overcome. He is a role model to everyone. He is the most childlike enthusiast that revs up the crew. One such director is J.J. Abrams, an avid film creator with a passion for mystery and intrigue. So not a lot of time. And that sense of possibility, what could this thing be? There was no time to develop it. I'm sure you're all familiar with those people. He combines skills such as his musicianship, writing, script writing, and directing. He has worked successfully in both television and films with an impressive array of works behind them. And Roger Guyette, who's our visual effects supervisor, who's a genius. And uh, we, we wanted to make sure that the, the, the visual effects were following the look of what He is part of a wave of directors that have embraced digital technology and used it to broaden it. He resonates with me because of his enthusiastic approach to his filmmaking and intriguing aspects of storytelling. If the director is the artist behind the whole operation, then the DP or the director of photography, also known as the cinematographer, is the hand that holds the brush and tends to all the shapes and colors of the masterpiece. A DP is responsible for the camera departments as well as electric and grip. He will design all the lighting tones and work with a gaffer to make those come alive. Everything that happens visually in a film, such as all the props, the costumes, hair and makeup, positioning of both actors and cameras, framing and blocking, all will come under the scrutiny and supervision of the DP. You could say the cinematographer or the director of photography is like an artist that paints with lights. He will also have intimate knowledge of composition and all technical aspects of camera control. He will literally give the film that visual identity. Apart from having that in-depth understanding of color, light, physics and even chemistry, he must also possess those less technical traits yet vital to the success of a film. Adaptability, flexibility, artistic vision, attention to detail, excellent communication skills, Christopher Doyle has had enormous influence, especially in Asian cinema. Although he was born in Australia, he left there early in his life to pursue his love of the Asian culture. His style of work is one of relaxed, loose way of dealing with photographic demands. Improvisational and sometimes spontaneous ideas have won him 
an accolade of awards and placed him as one of the cinematography greats. The director and the cinematographer are responsible for not only creating an inspiring work of art, but potentially a work that creates a change in how we view the world.